Hi everybody, welcome to a surprise Facebook Live with Jeannie. I'm Jeannie Nielsen, the card lady, and I'm very excited to be here with you today. Um, surprise for sure. Um, I decided to come live with a quick and simple card. Sorry, Lori, no magic card yet. Not ready for it. Um, but I wanted to let you know that we are going to do a uh, quick and simple card. Um, they call it a sip card. Stamps, ink, and paper. No dice no punches. Uh, I will have some scissors, some paper snips or my version of paper snips just to um, cut this out, I think. I'm actually going to do two versions and we're going to see how it goes. Sorry, I'm just noticing that there are still sequins and uh, beads all over the place on my area from when my uh, shaker card the other night went kaplunk. Not really, but you know, I put up a separate post I gave you the wrong instructions, told you how to do it instead of showing you how to do it. Then I promptly went together, made the card, and forgot to pull off one of the foam strip uh, protective pieces. Um, and I shook it to, because I was so proud of myself, and the beads went flying. Flying! Anyway, um, we are going to make a very, very quick and simple card. I'm going to just flip down. Sorry, no makeup. I'm not even sure I combed my hair today. Definitely didn't shower. It's one of those days we're gonna have fun. Let's have fun. Okay, I'm going to flip up to flip down. I think I may go back to my old method soon, but anyway, here we are. I'm gonna flip up and we're going to make a quick and simple playful ghost card right now. Thanks for joining me. There's my beautiful uh, textured ceiling. Here's my messy desk area. Got my glass mat. I've got my uh, scrap paper here all ready to go. Um, I haven't made this card yet, so we're going to see how it's going to work. I actually am going to make two because I'm going to see which one I like better. Um, let me start with uh, showing you how I made it, or will make it. I had a, another card in my rack that I was looking at and I decided to kind of copy it. Not really, but kind of. I'm usually inspired by other cards, other sketches. I'm pretty good at looking at a sketch and saying, ooh, now if I did that with this stamp set and these colors and this designer paper, and you know, it's gonna make it look totally different and I'm usually right. Um, so anyway, five and a half by eight and a half piece of basic black, um, but we are going to cut it down. I'm gonna show you what we're going to do. Let me put my paper trimmer here. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I have one already prepped, but I want you to see what I'm going to do. Um, what I'm going to do, it's already scored at four and a quarter, but this is gonna be like a fancy, um, fancy cut card. That's what I call them if they're not really a fancy fold, but fancy cut. What I'm going to do is put my score line at three and a quarter inches, and I'm just going to cut off hopefully I did this right, um, this strip of basic black. I'll put it in my scrap bin with my basic black and we'll be ready to go. Okay, I don't know if I need my scrap paper yet, but so let me show you what we're going to do first. First, I am going to put in a piece of basic white for my back layer. This layer is four by five and a quarter inches. Hopefully this glue works because that's another thing I forgot to check. Um, I have a strip of the new Halloween Spirits, I believe that's the name of it, the new Halloween Spirits uh, designer paper that's part of the scrapbook collection. I just got this last night, so I opened it today. Um, and I like kind of like this one. This is the first one I pulled out. The green bubbles, it looks kind of bewitching. Um, you know, you think of the cauldron and the bubbles coming out and the potions and the spells, and the back is black and white. We're going to use the black and white side, and I'm just going to glue this on my white inside layer, just like this. So let me do that. We're gonna do this with both. It's the front that's gonna be a little bit different on these cards, so anyway, let me line this up. Thank you to anybody joining me, either on replay or watching me live. Um, yep, it's a total surprise that I'm here, to me too. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna glue that inside. I'll think of something to put inside. There was actually a large trick or treat. I actually got um, the new Halloween uh, stamp set that's supposed to be for scrapbooking. 
Make sure this is nice and straight. Not really nice and straight, but we're trying. Okay, there we go. Now, see, this is what we're gonna see when we close the card. So that's why I cut this off. We've got this nice inside. Isn't that fun? I wanted to see if I could see if I brought the... No, I don't have it here on my shelf yet. Sorry, didn't make it that far. But I'll stamp something inside. Now we're going to work on the front. So this is, remember I put my score line at three and a quarter inches. That means that this layer here, this front is three and a quarter inches wide. It's our normal five and a half inches tall, but it's three and a quarter inches wide. I have a piece of basic white and this piece is three inches. Um, so a quarter inch less, but it's I have it five and a half inches. It's gonna go right down to the bottom. I think this is what I wanna do. I may. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna cut a quarter inch off of um, the other one than when I make it. But this is what I plan to do. Okay, so now I have the front of the potions and spells, the green. It's also three inches wide. I think I did it two and a quarter inches high. And you know what? I don't, I kind of just winged it. I just wanted it to take up some room here. Um, I think it's two and a quarter inches. And then I have a strip of granny apple green because I believe that this is granny apple green and this strip is three quarter inches wide by three inches. Um, the next one's gonna be a little bit snazzier, but let's do this one first. I'm gonna add this to the bottom, just like this. Like I said, I may, I may decide, you know, because this only goes to the bottom, but it almost looks like it's still aligned, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay, we're gonna leave it. I'm going to put this right over top of our seam right here. Just add some glue there, right over top. And this is our granny apple green strip and we're gonna put that right there. And this is where the truth is gonna um, come out and I'm gonna find out that this is not even gonna work probably. Um, I have my memento ink here and I have my, yep, it's gonna work perfectly. This is what I wanna do. For this one, I think the next one's gonna be a little bit fancier and a little bit different, but for this one, I'm going to ink it up with my memento. For some reason, I don't know why, this is gonna be a, a problem. I have this cover of the memento, it does not fit well. I don't know what it is. You know, I have to rock it to get it on. And then when I finally get out, it's like it squeezes all the air out and then I can't get it off, which is what happened. Um, I like to, when I'm using my felt pad like this with a memento, to make sure I get all the ink. I'm not gonna rock it or anything, but I'm going to, I kind of do a little twist and tap um, to ink it up. So we're gonna go like this, just like this and we're going to do similar to what we did the other night. You're gonna watch me color for a minute. Um, I have my Wild Wheat uh, Stampin' Blend, and I'm going to use that for my broom, just like that. And I decided I'm going to use the Wild Wheat for my buckle too, rather than bringing in um, the Daffodil Delight like I did. I feel like Wild Wheat is a little bit more bucklish if that's such a word. Um, I have here my, similar to the other night, did I take it, oh, or did I not? No, you know what, I left it over there. Hang on one second. I'm going to get my Highland Heather blend. No, you know what, I'm gonna get my Petunia Pop this time. I'm gonna do the Dark Petunia Pop for my ghostly witches cape just like this and I'm going to color I should color in so you can watch me um, Martha said one time that this was so zen watching me color <laughs> I'm thinking that's really fun um you know what this almost on the paper it almost looks like rich razzleberry doesn't it not quite not quite but almost I did love Rich Razzleberry. Um, I'm also going to color in my patch on the hat. It's gonna be the same. Um, I was thinking, I know we're a ghost, but it's supposed to be Halloween and even a ghost could be wearing a mask, right? I'm going to make my ghost face um, Granny Apple Green. I've just decided. 
going to be Granny Apple Green. And I may go for my color lifter because look at this. This is awful. Yep, not the right Granny Apple Green. Way too green. So I'm going to get my color lifter and I'll get it a little bit lighter. Oh my goodness. That looks a little scary, doesn't it? Um, let's do our pecan pie for our broomstick. The mode of transportation for the night. Um, I have here Flirty Flamingo. And the Flirty, oh, you know what? I should get my color lifter first. Hang on, let me grab my color lifter. And if I decide to do another green face for my ghost next time, we'll do the light granny apple green. But first, let's do the color lifter. I'm going to just take off some of this color right now, just like that. And you know what? I'm also going to take it, now that I think about it, off of the patch because that's a little bit faded and lighter. So we're going to take it right off the patch there, too. Okay, so that's that. Um, oh, I better get my, see, I've got a little bit of everything going here. Basic black for the hat. Let's do basic black. Oh, and we're going to do granny apple green again for this uh, hat band right there. Everything else I'm going to make green this time. I may alter it next time. Who knows? I honestly have no idea. Oh, forgot that I need a new black blend. I'm going to put that on my order form and order that ASAP. Okay, so you know how to color, I know. We're going to do this again in a second, but I'm going to cut it out too. So you're going to watch me cut and color. Um, this is almost like preschool, but you know, you see how fast and easy this card is going to be? Um, I'm almost done with this card. Um, I think that he should have a host of... Um, bats with him. So I'm going to stamp some bats. Um, I mounted it on my stamp. It's really hard to tell. Oh no, you know what? I didn't mount it. That's not straight up. Okay. When I'm looking at the straight line of the bat and I'm lining it up with the top or the bottom of the block, and this is when I say, trust the block. So we're going to stamp. Let's do this. We'll stamp right there. He's got a host of, uh, Bats accompanying him. I think I said this was Gus. This is definitely Gus. Okay, we're not done yet, though. I'm going to put a little... He's got a little bit of pink here, and he's got to have some pink cheeks. I don't know about you, but I love giving my critters, giving my ghosts, fun pink cheeks. And then the... What do they call it? The paste de la raisons. Somebody said that word to me, and I'm, I love that word. We're going to use a uh, Wink Estella and wink this... Gus guy up. He's having a heyday with his flying. You know what? I decided, I think there, I'm having fun with this. I hope you're having fun watching me. I think this is part of the cape right there. I don't think I ever noticed it before, but that's part of the cape. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is mount this on the front of my card, just like that. And, oh, I'm going to do one more thing. I have a happy Halloween, and we're going to stamp this. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to do straight, and we're going to stamp happy Halloween right here at the bottom. I don't like to stamp on designer paper, especially after I've glued it. There's just no going back, right? Let's attach this. And voila, we have our cute and easy super simple Halloween card. Did that take me, oh, it probably took me 10 minutes total because I, and of course I had some stuff cut. You know what? This is too tall and that's okay because if I line it up with the top or bottom, it's overhanging a little bit. I'm going to just line this up on my paper trimmer, just like this. My black is lined up. And then what I'll do is, slice that little sliver of white off. Just line it up with the top or bottom when you're doing it and you can always slice it off later. As long as, if you're gonna do this, just a little hint, I've done this before. 
make sure if your fold is at the top of your card, make sure that you uh, line it up or overhang at the bottom. I have sliced off the top of my card and all of a sudden there's a big hole in the card if the card is even attached at the top. Just a little hint. So here we go. Our little fun little Gus guy is on a, well, almost on a hayride. Uh, he's on his broomstick. We're gonna do this again, just a little bit differently. Just step it up a tiny bit and add a little bit of jazz here. Um, same thing, I've got my three and a quarter inch front, so I put this line at uh, my score line, my four and a quarter inch score line at three and a quarter. And that leaves me, let's see, four and a quarter plus three and a quarter is gonna be seven and a half inches um, total. But I already have my strip off and ready to be used. I put it in my scrap bin and when I need some black scraps for punching or whatever, I'm ready to go. I'm going to try this one a little bit differently. I think I'm going to cut this one down um, to five and a quarter inches. I think I like that idea better. So let me just put this here and put it at five and a quarter inches. It, it's just a little bit similar to what we have going in the front here. Okay, so my four by five and a quarter inch piece is gonna go inside and once again, we're going to add our um, black and white stripe from the Halloween Spirits designer paper. Same thing. I'm just going to do something a little bit different this time. So isn't that green though kind of fun? I really like the green. Uh, we're going to add this right here. Just like that. All lined up, ready to go. Let me attach this inside. You know what? I'm going to show you the stamp set if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. save it for another day I guess I probably put it oh I have it here it is Halloween memories look at this I don't think any of these now that I look at it though are going to fit on the front this is definitely made better or more for a scrapbooking page or you'd want to make sure that you stamp or just ink up the spooky and then the fun something like that um so now that I look at this, not gonna work for this one. I'd almost have to do my card like this, but we're not going to. Where are we? Let's try that. Ah, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Yeah, it, we're gonna try that. We are going to try this. Hang on a second. What do you think? Wickedly good times, trick or treat. I think spooky fun is going to be what we're going to do. Now, I don't know that this is going to work, but I'm just trying this, okay? So, let me grab a block that's going to fit this. My D block is always my favorite block to use. That's the one I go to the most, and that would be, of course, this one. That's the D block. This block, though, is definitely right up there with my favorite, the H block. I love this for my sentiments. So um, let's ink this up. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're, gonna, we're just trying it. If it doesn't work, you know what? I'll use my um, undo and we'll take it out. But let's just, I haven't really... Um, you're supposed to condition your stamps because they have like a little finish on them when they're first out of the package. This one isn't really conditioned, so hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, because I can't, let's just look at this. We're going to stamp Spooky Fun right there. Ta-da, I love it. So now we're gonna see if this is gonna work. We're changing the orientation just a little bit. So this is my inside, just like that. I really like that, isn't that so cute? Then what I'm going to do is I've got my front, and remember I just cut it down to five and a quarter, so it's going to be like a panel right here. 
Um, I once again have my three inch piece, three inches by two and a quarter. This is the other side of my designer paper again. Um, you're thinking, yeah, this is kind of boring. You're not really changing it up any at all. Well, I am. Wait till you see what I'm gonna do with this one. In my mind, this is gonna work, so let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put this, attach this to the bottom, just like that. Ta-da, right? Same thing. Now, let's just add a little bling to this, shall we? I sound like I'm stirring up my pot, don't I? I have a piece here of designer paper. This is um, one of the, not designer paper, glimmer paper. I am not sure which one this is, and I probably should have used the new festive glimmer paper because there's a granny apple green in there. I decided that I was gonna use this one, and this one is the one that's in with the berry burst and the white. So I'm gonna just do this right here. You know what, I'm going to, yeah, I don't know. Let's just add some glue here, just to give it a little bit pizzazz. like that. Ta-da. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to stamp our witch ghost. And our witch ghost is going to be cut out this time. I'm going to use the same colors, or very similar, I think. But we're going to cut them out. We're going to cut Gus out. Let me put my ink pad away, close it up, even though it doesn't really close. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with this. Is You should not be putting on a lid like that and having it go like that. Coloring it the same, I'm gonna use my wild wheat for my broomstick. This is for the bristles. Um, also, we're gonna do a little bit for our buckle. He could almost be a, uh, if it wasn't that kind of hat, change it up a little bit, he could almost be a pilgrim ghost. Uh, it would be hard. You'd have to cut off this hat and make your own hat, but we might do that. We're going to have to see. Okay, let's do the petunia pop again for our uh, beautiful cape here, just like this. And I think I'm going to give him a striped hat this time. Why not give him a little bit of style? You can see I'm still making this a really easy, easy card for anybody to make. You don't have to have a fancy big shot or die cutting machine. You don't have to have punches. Uh, you get started in this though, and you're gonna want the punches. I've got them all and I love them. I love my punches, I love my dies, love my die cutting machine. Okay, let's do this again. Did we decide that he's a little too green? He is a little too green, isn't he? But he does look fun, doesn't he? Um, I'm going to do for my hat, we're going to do the stripes just like it has here. So every other one here is going to be granny apple green. Just like that. And then I guess we're going to have to alternate with black because I'm thinking it's not going to look like Halloween if I alternate it with purple. It's just going to look a little wonky. So we're going to do our patch again with the uh, petunia pop, just like we did for our cape, just like we did for our last one. And I forgot again that I wanted to um, add a little bit to the cape here again. Let's do that again, a little bit in the corner, right there on his left shoulder. And we're gonna do our patch, and then I'll use the color lifter and just get rid of a little bit of the color, just so it looks a little, oh, loving this. I am, I just love this. Okay, we're gonna get. You know what I did today? I had, I had fun stamping today. I had fun and enjoyed myself totally. Um, light flirty flamingo for his mouth and his cheeks. And I'm going to do his cheeks before I color him in with the light granny apple green. There we go. And then once again, we're going to do the same thing. We are going to, I might still use the color lifter again, even after using the light. We're going to have to see, but I'm going to avoid the cheeks so that it, isn't that fun? And then I'll do Wink Estella on his body because He's out for a joy ride, and you know, it's almost like wearing a reflector. He should have his Wink of Stella on so he doesn't bump into any other ghosts 
that might be in the area. Okay, Wink of Stella, my favorite way to embellish, just like that. I might even wink his face a little bit. I love them. Perfect. Okay, now what I have to do is cut them. So bear with me. It doesn't take that long. Um, it's not very hard. I wish there were dies with this, but that would make the whole bundle more expensive. And then it would be more that I'd have to keep track of. I am just loving this stamp set, and I hope you guys do too. I was thinking maybe for Saturday, if I don't get to that magic card, if I don't figure it out, um, that maybe what I might do is make a fun treat holder with this. So, so I'm using kind of the point here and I'm turning the paper rather than turning my scissors, if you notice. That's the fun way, fun and easy way to do some fussy cutting. That's what they call this. They call this fussy cutting. When you have to get into all the nooks and crannies, they call that fussy cutting. I'm not done yet though, stay with me. I know you're gonna think, oh, she's gonna attach it to the paper and we're gonna be done. But I have one more surprise up my sleeve. You gotta wait, gotta wait. And this is only gonna take another second, so. And then you're gonna be able to turn me off and go back to your Hallmark movie, which is what I'm gonna do. Go back to my Hallmark movie when I'm done with this. I was supposed to have kit night tonight. And, uh, ended up having to cancel. We've had some COVID uh, closeness and we don't want to get too close to COVID around here. We all need to stay healthy. So we decided to, tonight we're gonna stay in and just everybody can get something done, which is what I'm doing. I'm getting a Facebook Live done, a bonus Facebook Live. Okay, that's that. That's all I wanted to do with that. but. We're going to glue this to the front. Let's glue this layer to the front and then I'll show you what I want to do yet. If it's going to work. Is it going to work? I could even really change it up. I'm going to change it up totally. Put it upside down. Just like that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to just pop this guy up, but I'm not gonna pop this guy up just regularly. I'm gonna wobble him. So I've got my wobble mechanism here, ready to go. I have about 200 more of these, so you might see a lot more wobble cards. Um, I think that this is supposed to go down close to this. Let's hope I did it right. I was so proud of myself. I did another card this week with a wobble, and oh, and it worked perfectly. It worked just like it was supposed to. Um, and I said, I'm, well, I'm so proud of myself because usually I put this on upside down. And you know, I may have spoken too soon because maybe this one's gonna be upside down, I don't know. No, look at him wobble. Okay, so we're not done yet. Let's stamp our bats yet. We're gonna have to stamp some bats and take up some of that white space. We don't want all that white space. Um, just like that. Maybe we'll even do some bats here, just like that. Yeah, I'm getting carried away now, but that's okay. Let's do a happy Halloween right up here. Oh, I'm gonna stand up for this so I do it straight. Happy Halloween and ta-da. Look at this fun card, isn't it so fun? I could do more bats. I could add more embellishments probably. I could add some beads or whatever, but oh, I just love that he wobbles. Anyway, so we've got two simple cards, very, very similar sketches, but boy, did I change it up a little bit by changing it on its side. Don't you just love that bold uh, sentiment inside? Spooky fun, ooh wee. Um, but. You'll have to tell me if you like the bling or not. Is it too much? Um, maybe, you know what? I probably should have taken, to just to add a little bit, maybe I should have taken the blending brush and added some black here or something, but we're not taking things apart and doing things over. We're doing it with what we had, but 
Don't you love it? So you'll have to tell me which one is your favorite. Um, maybe they're both your favorites. That's okay. I'm not going to be hurt if you decide one over the other or if you can't decide and you love them both. I love my wobble and I love my bold sentiment. So anyway, let me... Oh, can't do that. You'll see my messy space. I'm going to just say good night. Thank you for joining me. See, never put makeup on today. I had a great time with you. Thanks for watching. I'm Janie Nielsen, the card lady, and I'll be back again with more inspiration. Love you. Bye.